Okay, in this video, I'm going to cover Zoom, how to set up an account, how to create a meeting, and how to get students onto that meeting. I am using a Chromebook since that's probably the closest thing to what you all will be using. So here's my Chromebook. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is pull up uh, Google Chrome and go to our inbox. We have to make sure that we are signed into our inbox first. After that, we're going to click a new, open up a new tab and type Zoom. Um, click the first link. From here, we are going to click Sign Up. It's free. Towards the bottom of the page, you'll notice Sign In with Google. Click sign in with Google. All right. Once you do that, it will a card will pop up. It will be asking you whether you want to import your Google data into Zoom. Click OK. So it'll say something to that effect. Click OK. Once you've done that, it'll bring you to this screen. It's very, very quick, very straightforward. And as a note, whenever you log back into Zoom in the future, just click sign in with Google. <clears throat> All right, so let's schedule a new meeting. Of course, give it a title, give it a description, but more importantly, let's set a time. So for me, that's fine, 11 a.m., whatever, it doesn't matter. Uh, what's What I want you to make sure, what I want you to ensure is that the time zone is set to central as default i believe it's set to pacific i'm sure it depends on where you are located but <clears throat> make sure that is set to central after that leave everything as it is and click save and here we have our meeting and meeting details i want to draw your attention to this join url portion of the uh, meeting notes. This is all the information that anybody could ever want in order to connect to your Zoom meeting. And handy, Zoom gave you this copy the invitation. Click that. It's going to give you all this, inf just going to show you what you're copying. Click copy invitation and then click the X in the upper right hand corner of the uh, card. Now let's go back to our inbox and head on over to our classroom through the box of chocolates and then click classroom. We're going to go into our classroom and we are going to create a post. In the post, this is on your stream, you're going to paste the invitation details. Feel free, of course, to edit any of this information as you feel necessary. One more suggestion slash something you could try. You don't have to do this, but I'm going to show you how to do this It and for what it's worth. Uh, if you highlight the URL, press Control C, Control C, click Add, click Link, paste it in there. It adds a nice little picture with a description launch meeting zoom, a little more friendlier, a little more friendly option as far as uh, click something to click on. You do not have to do that because as you can see here, that link, that URL comes up as blue and it's clickable. But uh, for whatever it's, for what it's worth, there you have at the bottom a nice little picture saying launch meeting zoom. It may help the process, uh, may help people log on, I'm not sure. So that's, that's that. All right, so let's go ahead and actually launch the meeting. You want to go, you want to do this in advance to ensure that it's going to work. And you'll notice here, oh wait, we can't, we're not in the meeting. Well, because we have to add this, this, uh, Zoom extension to Google Chrome. 
So click install from Chrome Web Store. It's going to take you to the Chrome Web Store. Click add to Chrome. And it's just going to say, hey, you know, are you sure you want to do this? Yes. Add app. And it's downloading. You may see a pop up in the bottom right hand corner that says, would you like to install? So you can download the Zoom application to your computer. This is important, especially if you're not using Google Chrome. It's the same thing. You can you can do that if you'd like. I don't know what benefits it gives you or not. So we, but we've added it as an application to our Google Chrome, uh, and we're using a Chromebook, so I feel like that's the best way to do it. All right, so here's the meeting I am in, and you'll see a bunch of different options and things down at the bottom. You can click around and figure out what they are. Uh, for some reason, my uh, Chromebook, when I click sh uh, show video, it doesn't show video. So I don't know if that's going to be something that you experience. If it is, uh, let me know, and I will try to track down the problem. I don't know if it's just my Chromebook. Maybe the com camera's gone bad. But I do have audio, and they can hear me. So here's my profile picture, and they'll hear audio from me. So that's that's good. Uh, and that's that's the meeting. That's how you start a meeting. There are a few things that you may want to do, such as uh, showing your screen. Uh, and if you want to do that, then I'll have to get back with you that, on that because I don't know how to do that yet. But that's just how to set up a meeting and how to just start talking with your students and have a schedule. Nice thing about Zoom is that they, the students are not allowed to join the meeting until you join until you get on, until you start it, and then they are kicked off once you leave. All right, so ending meeting is just done by clicking end meeting, and here you here you have that option of kicking them or not. This is a end meeting for all that kicks all of them off, or leave the meeting. That which means that I guess that they will they would all stay on. So I would suggest clicking end meeting for all. And that ends it. You can go ahead and close this window and go go about your daily business. I uh, hope this helps. Uh, if you, of course, if you have any questions, please feel free to uh, email me, text me, whatever. Uh, uh, I want you all to have the best experience possible. Thanks for watching.